What's up, YouTube? Man, long time no see. We're still here. I'm still alive. We're still doing stuff. I've just been taking a little break for the past month or so. Just for one, just because. And two, you'll see at the end of the video. Here at Man Family Farms, Old Man Winter finally decided to show up. January 9th, not bad, but hey, I'm very thankful for a nice, clear December. It just made things easy. Pretty busy trucking during the month of December, so I'm not gonna complain. In this video, we're gonna do some kind of hodgepodge of random things, but first off, we gotta get the snow cleared off the driving area even though it's probably going to get blown back over and then we're also going to go around to all the semis because it's beginning of the new year and we got to put new inspection labels if to stickers registrations and all the trucks today's actually a really good day to do it because they're all here because no one's out on the road because it's miserable out i think i'm going to need a backhoe to get the snow out of this corner of the deck and the door it just blows in there so bad. That's a bit better. I think the escape can make it through the, the snow pile right there. Eh, be fun to try. Hello, 2020 when you walk out and you don't realize how deep the snow is. We're here for, right there, heat gun. Use these to take the old stickers off the trucks. I'm not one to put stickers over old stickers. It just looks bad. All right, here we are in the North Truck Shed. Bobcat, Freightliner, Big Blue, and Big 12. Oldest of stickers come off. Got inspection labels on these trailers there there passenger side inspection label if to stickers i have wanted to put new lights in this building for so long just haven't like decided to do it yet but it's just one of them things like we need to do it because the lights in here are absolutely trash because at 4 a.m when we're heading out or five it's it'd be nice to be able to see a little better <sighs> it just takes time these things always decide they want to break down and that seems to be where you got to put the money first, so. Oh, this is not going near as planned. <laughs> These suck.
What are we doing? Making another snow pusher. Imagine that. 12 foot box scraper. That we're gonna mount to the 7800. We got these universal mounts. So we just gotta rig them on there. Weld them up, make some plates, make some bracket. Yeah. It's for a skid loader, but 12 feet is probably a little big for a skid loader. Oh, I think it was on a front end loader. Front end loader. Hey, loader. That makes sense. What's up, Badger? Winter time. Finally got here. Grumpa. We're still not ready. Never ready. Every year, we're never completely ready. Caught with our hands in our pants. My winter. What? One winter. <laughs> One winter, we'll, have, we'll be ready to go. We'll be running a baler with a 4430, uh, so we won't have to... Uh, mower. Yeah, Bucky. We have to get the 4430 done. You know this, right? We've been waiting this for like four years now, dude. Yeah, if only we knew a good mechanic. A little past here, so it has a little edge on here. And then after that, if we need to put a brace in the middle, we probably won't even need it. So we gotta have, we gotta have 49 inches end to end. Wilson, come weld it or? We might have to call Wilson. looking welds not uh, I didn't do those mine's right here this beautiful get a good look at that angle over here look at that that's mine someone tried to weld over my arms over here that were good should have left them alone Working in the shop today, snowy tundra, it's still miserable out, but today we've got something fun going on. See this ugly visor? Yeah, it's going bye-bye. Now we're in the process, getting it out. Thankfully the 359 is insulated like a house in the 1920s. So uh, there's not much stuff to get through. Everything's pretty much exposed, which is good and bad. I'll show you the visor we got to replace it here. Pretty awesome. There she is. It's ten and a half drop visor, blind mount, slight bow tie to it. Is about the straightest I could find. I wanted a straight one, but slight bow tie will be all right. It'll help slightly with the fact that you can't sit super low in the 359, and you can't move the seat back. So it'll help with the, a little bit of the visibility. 
I was slightly worried about too big of a drop on this truck because of that reason, but I think, I think this will be perfect. So the reason we're taking this visor off, multiple reasons. First and foremost, it was basically broken. Uh, these mounts are so chintzy and they had just broke and the thing would flap in the wind. I don't know if you go back and watch a video from last winter, I was hauling some beans down to Des Moines and this thing was just going nuts. We would keep putting little bolts in to temporarily fix it and they just fall out. It's just time to get rid of it. Number two, you can't be driving no Peterbilt without a drop visor, come on. We're done with the visor. It wasn't that bad. Now the best part, we gotta peel the, the sticker off and reveal its shiny glory. That reveal was totally not cool and very anticlimactic, but it is done. We got it off camera. It took a little bit, but what is cool is that. Look at it. Line mount drop visor on the 359. Not to mention as well, clean truck. I love it. Thanks, Tucker. The washing, vacuuming from the inside. So as you can tell, still plenty of visibility. You know, I was a little worried about it being too low, but that looks really good. Blue truck is a 12 inch drop. And I thought this 10 and a half was gonna be a little lower. I knew a, a 14 was gonna be ridiculous. So this is perfect, absolutely perfect. And my favorite thing about it, with it being what they call a bow tie, where it kind of curves up, but to be completely honest, it doesn't really curve up that much. It literally looks the same as the blue truck where it's just got like a slight little bow and it, it just looks, it just looks fire. It just looks fire. We might have to put some window chops on it now to match. Also, bumper, a nice square to straight bumper would look good. Maybe do a herd grill guard on it, not sure. You know, we don't run this truck a ton. Old school, cool, 359. So right here, we got some half stainless Hodge built fenders going on double lot, which is our 2379. You're sitting on a seat that is also going in double lot, low rider seat. And this big box is a step that we're gonna put on the passenger side of the blue truck. It's a normal step instead of the big ugly step. And once we get this one done on the blue, maybe this weekend, that goes well and fairly easy. We'll do one on yellow. And then those will be done and those will look like good classic 379s. Also coming down the pipe are pipes for the blue semi, new stacks. They'll be basically identical to this. Seven inch down to a five. Nice transition here, high and tight. I, I like elbow rod picket elbows, but it just, they're so low to the ground for what we do. I mean, I, I don't really like the look, it's okay. I'd rather just go with the, the high and tight and we'll do a approximately 11 foot, just like this, miter cut on blue, no more stack guards, ugly stack guards gone. And then that thing will be tip top. I owe it to you guys. I gotta show you what I've been up to the past couple months. So here we go. Hello, mister. <gasps> there he is. The newest addition to Man Family Farms. 
You got anything to say? You want to say anything? Nah. He's a wise man. A man of very few words. He's only two weeks old, so I guess that's expected. Peace.